Hello, welcome to another video. Now, whenever you're required to find the sum of any series, you really require to know the formula you're going to use because you already have an idea of what kind of series you are working with. For example, we have a series here where the first term is 1 and the last term is 16, but we don't know how many terms are in the series and we don't even know if it's an arithmetic series or a geometric series. And that's the first thing you want to know so you know what formula of sum you want to write. For example, I'm going to write here that the sum of the series, which is sum of the first n terms, is equal to, well, I have to be sure whether it's going to be an arithmetic series or it's going to be a geometric series. Because if it's an arithmetic series, I'm just going to say it's going to be n over 2 to a plus l. Okay, well, my a, which is my first term, or I can say a sub 1, is 1. My last term is 16. I just need to know the number of terms as long as I can establish that this is an arithmetic series. Okay, so we're going to test to see if it's an arithmetic series. And what does an arithmetic series have? It just has a common difference. It simply means you are adding something to every term to get the next term. That's why we say it's arithmetic, it's just adding. So let's see. Well, if you want to know, that term, the common difference, common difference, D will be equal to, the common difference is D, let's put it that way, and D will be equal to radical 2 minus 1, and it's also 2 minus radical 2. Okay, um, if you look at this very well, you can tell that this is not the same thing as this, because radical 2 minus 1 is 0 0.4142, and 2 minus radical 2 is 2 minus 1.4142, which is 0 0.5 something. Therefore, uh, there's no common difference. Okay, so it is not an arithmetic series. Okay. So now we need to find if it's a geometric series. Let's write the formula for the sum of a geometric series. Well, the sum of a geometric series is equal to a1, um, 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. Okay, that's what we have. I'll put this in parentheses also. You can just do it this way. Um, well, this formula will only work if we know that there's a common ratio and we know the number of terms. But firstly, there just has to be a common ratio. So let's test the common ratio. Just as we did here where we subtracted the previous from the current and then the current from the next, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we'll be taking ratios. Okay, so we know that our R is going to be rat 2 divided by 1, rat 2 divided by 1, and it also must be 2 divided by rat 2, 2 over rat 2. Well, is this equation true? Because if this equation is true, then we have a common ratio. I'm just going to cross multiply, and then I'm going to have 2 is equal to rad 2 times rad 2. And this is correct, because rad 2 times rad 2 gives you 2. And now I know that I have a common ratio. And my common ratio is rad 2 over 1, which is equal to rad 2. This also will give you rad 2 if you rationalize it. So we have a common ratio of rad 2, so I know it's an arith a geometric series, okay? So because it's a geometric series, I know I'm going to use this formula. I have my first term already, which is 1. I have my common ratio already, which is rad 2, right here, okay? Um, that's my common ratio. Um, I just need to know the number of terms. What's the number of terms? Well, it's difficult to know the number of terms, um, but we know the last term. Remember, if a series has 10 terms, then the 10th term is the last term. So if this series has n terms, then this, the nth term will be the last term, which is 16. 
So we can as well say 16 is the nth term. Let's write the formula. We know that the nth term a n of any geometric series rather of a geometric series is equal to um, a r raised to n minus 1 that's it okay where this is I'm gonna use a sub 1 okay now so this is the first term the common ratio and this is the number of the term so now we're talking about the last term so we could say that a n because we don't know what n is, we don't know the number of terms in this geometric series, but we're going to find out now, okay? So a n will be equal to a1. The common ratio we've established to be rad2, to be raised to, what is the number of terms here? Um, we don't know also, so we're going to say n minus 1. But remember that our a n is the last term. This is the term we want to talk about. Because once we get n, n will be what's relevant here. So what is this term? This term is 16. So I'm going to change this to 16. Or I'm going to leave it. Let's just say it's a n. And then put the numbers in. This is 16. a1 is the first term, which is this one. And then this is rad2. Um, can we write rad2 as an exponent? Yes, that's going to be 2 to the 1 half. It's smart for you to do that. And minus 1. So at this point, we can write this 2 as an exponent, okay? Um, so this is going to be 2 to the 4th equals 1 times this is going to remain this, and this is going to be 2 to the 1 half into n minus 1. You apply your laws of exponent. And from here, we can equate the exponents and say 4 is equal to 1 half n minus 1, and then 8 will be n minus 1 which implies that n equals 8 plus 1, which is equal to 9. So now we know that we have 9 terms in this geometric series. Now we can take the sum because everything is, is clean. So we have 1, rad 2, plus 2, plus so many terms until we get to the ninth term, and that's what it is. So what's the sum? Let's use our formula now. So we have the sum of the nine terms will be equal to a1, our a1 is 1, times, we're going to write our formula. Okay, so this formula could be 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r, or you can flip these positions. It doesn't matter because whatever you get will still cancel out. Now, you use this when r is less than 1. And then you flip the formula when r is greater than 1. So in this case, because our common ratio is greater than 1, I'm going to uh, switch these positions. But even if you don't switch the positions, your answer will still be correct. Okay? So, because you're going to have a negative over a negative, which will turn out to be positive. Okay? So, but I'm going to switch it here when I get here. So this is going to be the same thing as r to the n. No, let me just write the formula now. So we're going to write the sum of the first n terms is a1 into r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1, okay? Which will be equal to, so s9 will be equal to the first term, which is 1, multiplied by the common ratio, rad2 minus 1, rad2 raised to the power 9 minus 1, divided by rad2 minus 1. So we're going to simplify this and well if you multiply by 1 you still get the same thing so we're just going to have this let's do this we're just going to have um, the sum of the first nine terms is going to be equal to square root of 2 to the 9 minus 1 divided by rad2 minus 1 Okay, now we can get rid of this radical sign up here because there's another exponent. So let's write square root of 2 as if it was 1 half, okay? 2 to the 1 half. So that's going to be 2 to the 1 half to the 9 minus 1 over 2 over square root of 2 minus 1. Okay, we just, we just make it, let's write it this way, 9 over 2 minus 1 over square root of 2 minus 1, okay? And this is going to be equal to, you know, this is going to be 2 to the 4 and the half 
minus 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 is getting interesting okay now what did we what can we do see this is the same thing as 2 to the fourth multiplied by 2 to the 1 half okay now minus 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 and finally what is 2 to the fourth it's 16 okay so this is gonna be 16 times 2 to the 1 half I'm just gonna write rad 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 minus 1 don't forget that what I have here is exactly the same as the beginning it's just that sometimes the option doesn't look like you have an exponent so if it is further simplified you get this answer if it is not further simplified you get this answer or you can stop anywhere here depending on what the option is if it's a multiple choice problem don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living see you in the next video bye bye